Bo Derrick was born as Mary Collins and as a teenager, she wasn't exactly driven. In fact, she seemed content doing almost nothing when she was 16, preferring to spend her days at the beach with her friends. Narbonne High School's loss would prove to be the world's gain, though even now Derek isn't exactly proud of her high school attendance record. She told Interview Magazine, I skipped school for a month straight. It was terrible, I got in big trouble. My mother was working a lot, so she was gone often. I would leave school and hitchhike to the beach. She went on to say that she doesn't regret dropping out of high school, because she wouldn't have the life she has now if she'd stayed in school. By her early 20s, she was an iconic beauty, famous temptress of the film 10 and the accompanying movie poster. Her acting was often criticized, and movies like Bolero and Tarzan the Ape Man were derided as flimsy showcases for her face and figure, but none of that really mattered. Bo Derek became a leading sex symbol because of her early films and in spite of them. There's a reason she's been on the cover of Playboy magazine more times than any other celebrity, who wasn't a playmate. The former Mary Collins has always had that Bo mojo. We've never stopped being fascinated by her, and she doesn't disappoint although her appearances on TV and the silver screen are sporadic, she remains glamorous and entertaining, always a welcome addition at charity photo ops, and always entertaining with her shoot from the hip answers to interview questions. Derek admitted to Interview Magazine that SHE managed to skip school for a month straight without anyone noticing. Bo Derek's mother admired John Derek's looks before Bo had even met him. When she went to interview with him, she also found him to be handsome, despite not knowing who he was at the time. When they started hooking up on set, John was in his mid-40s and Bo was 17, which is pretty creepy. After divorcing Derek's father, her mother married stunt performer Bobby Bass, but because the family couldn't live on a mere stuntman's salary, she put her hair and makeup skills to use and became a makeup artist to the stars. Her mother, Norma Bass, went to work for Anne Margaret and started bringing her daughter around for days on end. It was on set with Margaret where Bo, still Mary Collins, was discovered. She was hanging out backstage with her mom when Margaret's manager came in and said, you should be in pictures, and the rest is history. John Derrick didn't direct 10, but he insisted that the young Bo Derrick wear her hair in braids to stand out among the rest of the women from the 1970s. Bo Derrick revealed that she never took being a sex symbol seriously, making fun of herself and not caring about it. Their relationship began in turmoil, but Bo and her husband, actor-turned-director John Derrick, were married from 1976 to his death in 1998. They first met when she appeared in his film Fantasy, which filmed in Greece, and their love affair led to the end of Derrick's marriage with his third wife Linda Evans. Because Bo was underage when their relationship began, they had to stay in Europe until she was 18 so her husband wouldn't spend time in jail. Despite the rocky start, they stayed together for over two decades, which is better than most couples. In 1998, Derek recounted to People magazine her initial taste of fame after her role in 10, describing how she used to be mobbed by fans but now experiences a more manageable level of recognition. The X-rated film that Derek starred in is a legitimate movie, although incredibly racy. 
In 1984's Bolero, Derek played a young woman traveling the world in search of the perfect man to take her virginity. The film faced challenges during post-production, but eventually made its way to theaters, although it barely screened. Despite this, it still made its money back and was frequently shown late at night on Cinemax. The Golden Raspberry, also known as the Booby Prize, is an award for the worst performances in film, and Bo Derek has been nominated for six of these awards, and has won three. Following her breakout role in 10, Derek felt stigmatized for being sexy, expressing, I had such a big target on my back after that. Everything the press was saying was so negative. There's still a lot of that around. Despite this, she has made the best out of being blackballed by the industry, proving that living well truly is the best revenge. In 2018, Bo Derek and John Corbett adopted a German shepherd named Aiden, which was Corbett's character from Sex and the City. Derek addressed criticisms of her career by saying she objectified herself and exploited her own image to make money. Derek admitted to Interview magazine that she still feels guilty about the breakup of John Derek and Linda Evans, even after all these years. Derek has been vocal about her support of anti-poaching regulations in the Galapagos Islands, specifically working with Wild Aid to keep sharks from being poached by finners. She believes that educating people about the items they're buying can curb poaching before it starts. Derek dedicates her time to U.S. veterans of all stars and stripes, working on multiple United Service Organizations USO, tours and serving as Honorary Chair of Veterans Administration's National Rehabilitation Special Events. The VA awarded her its highest honor, considering her an honorary Green Beret. Bo Derek is still stunning at 62, but she admits that getting older in the public eye can be a drag. Bo Derek stays busy with small projects, including her pet care company, Bo Derek Pet Care, which she started out of necessity due to the smelly dog she wanted to live with. Her passion is covering the hounds in a fragrance that's not overpowering, but that makes dogs smell like anything but a dog. Bo Derek admitted that even though she gets up early, she's not one for a hearty breakfast. She said, breakfast is not my favorite meal of the day, so it might be a bowl of oatmeal, boiled eggs, or my favorite Danish pancakes. Despite being married to John Derek for 22 years, they never had children. Now, with John Corbett for almost the same amount of time, she still never become a mother. Bo Derek was set up on a date with John Corbett in 2002, and she liked him instantly. Derek's film career may have slowed, but if you run in the equestrian circles of Southern California, and who doesn't, you've no doubt seen her face advocating for horses. She's been riding horses since childhood and her personal ranch hosts Andalusian horses, also known as pure Spanish horses. 
While you may not be able to glean her love of horses from her film work, Derek's love of these long-faced, four-legged creatures runs deep. When she's not riding them for fun she's taking part in everything from local horse shows to chats about how to decrease pain in riding crops. If you're itching to meet Bo Derek, maybe buy a horse. Staying fit can be a challenge, but Bo Derek seems to have it figured out. In an interview with Women's Fitness, Derek revealed that swimming allows her to eat whatever she wants and still maintain a great body. Bo Derek, formerly known as Mary Collins, grew up near the ocean due to her father's job at Hobie Cat, allowing her to have access to prototypes and experimental watercraft. Derek prefers to listen to a good thriller while swimming for a mile three days a week. Derek has been a strong advocate for animal safety, particularly for horses, and in 2009 she focused on changing the tools used by jockeys to be more gentle on the horses. Derek's lifelong love for horses and the equestrian lifestyle led her to become a member of the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club Board of Directors in 2018, stating that they are her favorite people in horse racing and she's glad to join in to elevate the sport she loves. When the opportunity to appear in Sharknado 3 came up, Bo Derek was in the middle of the Galapagos Islands working to save sharks from poachers. She was hesitant at first, but her conservationist crew encouraged her to take the role. In 2012, Derek and her partner, John Corbett, were interviewed by NBC about their efforts to assist returning veterans in finding jobs, including offering free advertising in the Yellow Pages for one year. Derek explained that returning veterans looking to start a new business would receive assistance with advertising programs, business plans, and free ads for a full year in the Yellow Pages. Following her husband's passing, Derek began dating fellow actor John Corbett. They have been together since 2002 and still enjoy each other's company, laughing and holding hands after 15 years. They can often be found at one of their many homes in Southern California. Bo Derek admitted in an interview that she avoids going to gyms and instead stays active by taking on projects to keep from becoming a blob. She's been in a relationship with actor John Corbett since 2002, but they don't have any plans to get remarried. Corbett mentioned it's easier to just be together than make it this whole thing. Derek prefers to tailor her own clothes, as she has a unique shape and knows what works best for her. She learned to sew from her grandmother and used to make all her school clothes. In 2012, Derek and Virgin Group billionaire Richard Branson began collaborating to protect Canada's polar bear population. She expressed her determination to continue working towards a better world, despite the challenges of poaching and global warming. Bo Derek has never really chased stardom, admitting she never had the hunger and drive for it, but found herself at the top for a while. She now enjoys pursuing other interests and things she cares about.
Derek revealed that her favorite item in her home is the stuffed moose head from the TV show Northern Exposure, which her boyfriend stole from the set. After finishing filming 2015's Sharknado 3, Derek admitted that appearing in the movie wasn't hard work, but that it offered her a chance to be on set, which is something she can't get enough of. She told American Broadcasting Company News, it wasn't really acting. But being on a set, I love the business, I love the film business. And it's always been good to me. I don't need a lot. I never needed the adoration or the praise. I loved the work, and still do. Bo Derek claimed to only swim about three miles a week at her local Young Men's Christian Association, but she participated in a 3,000-meter open water marathon in Spetses, Greece in 2016. understands how fortunate she has been in life and does not take it for granted. She acknowledges that her life has been incredibly good and believes that everyone should aim to live a life that is embarrassingly good.